What's what? going on, CFS? Another beautiful day here. What? <laughs> wow. I think the camera lens is still on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well. <laughs> What's going on, Bounce? Another beautiful Sunday here in downtown Orlando, right up the street from one of our old spots. If you saw our first episode over at CFS, this is right up the street from there. So you can get your breakfast there, come over here and get a nice French pastry. We are here today at Le Gourmet Break, owned by a wonderful lady uh, of French descent, Aurélie, of which I actually have the Aurélie crepe right here in front of me. Very, very sweet, very savory, delicious dish. I also got here an apple danish, and my man Joel here is gonna tell you what he's got. What do you got here, man? We'll start here, a white chocolate macaron. Um, that dish, that's a signature dish. But yeah, we are off of Church Street and Magnolia. As you can tell, we do love downtown Orlando, and this place has just been, has been a favorite spot of ours since then. This is a croque madame. We have, um, the stuff that we have in here is a Swiss, we have ham, we have a poached egg on top as well. A little bit different from a Monsieur where there is no egg and cheese on it instead. And then again, for the dessert, we have the macaron and I'm just excited to dive into it. Fun fact, their coffee is locally grown as well. If you stay tuned, we're gonna be going over the coffee as well here soon. So just make sure that you do like and subscribe on the channel. That'll help us out tremendously. And I'm ready to dive in. Yeah. Um, Interestingly enough, about this uh, Coke Madame that my friend has here, um, there is a bechamel sauce in there, which is a very basic white pan sauce. It's super, super delicious. And like he was saying, only real difference between this and a Monsieur is the egg, right? Yeah, That's the egg, the and egg and the cheese okay. on the Monsieur instead. Gotcha. Um, and then as you can also see, we both have a, a side salad with a nice, really nice uh, vinaigrette, a balsamic vinaigrette, a little olive oil, salt, pepper, and French mustard, actually, yes, French as well. Mustard. So yep, yep, yep. Um, super, super basic, honestly, but totally worth it. Basic, but enough. A lot of flavors, a lot of very, very complex flavors and textures going on, so I'm excited. Yeah. Honestly, I know we keep going back to the coffee, but this is one of my favorite things so far. It's, it's black, and I don't like black coffee normally, but it's mm -hmm. so sweet. Chocolatey, fruity, it's delicious. So let's tear into this. Eiffel Tower salt and pepper. A little ham, little cheese. I've never been so excited. <sighs> kind of feel bad for tearing into it. It's just so beautiful. I love this restaurant. Yeah. I adore this place. Let's see, let's see. God. Let's see, let's see. There you go. Guys, this just crave. Mm. I believe that's actually what I ordered last time as well. Mmm. The profile is so welcoming. Just because it's thick does not mean it's overwhelming. It is It is the right amount of everything. So in this crepe, I got, I got the savory from the ham. I got the salinity also from the ham and the cheese as well. But everything is just counteracted by the, the, the nice sweetness of this crepe. The crepe batter that they've actually <laughs> used is, is very, it's insane. Like it's, it's sweet, it balances the saltiness from the meat. And it all just encapsulates everything so well in a nice, clean package. It's not messy. It's not falling apart all over the place. And when it's dipped with this this vinaigrette that's from this salad, mm -hmm. clean package. It's 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 nice. Yeah, clean it's package. Definitely it's a great pick me up. Definitely a really really good way to start the day. It's so something. savory that it almost tastes like a dessert. Yeah. But in a clean package, like you said. Let's see what's up with the salad here. I think I don't want to get too much of that. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible so I can get to that. I do and I don't because this is just that's what I'm saying so like, at the same good. time I gotta savor it but it's like like I, I, I come on I gotta move on to the next thing we knew what to expect we knew what to expect but it, it just blows our socks off like look how clean I can just cut this through mm -hmm. what is the cheese that you have again I believe it's Swiss well um, it's almost the same deal with me ham Swiss yeah I have an egg Bread's a little bit thicker. So I don't have an egg and my carb is different. I don't have bread, I have a crepe, so. And the, the bread is definitely buttered down. It's, yeah, it's, buttered it's probably down. like brioche or something, I would assume. So a lot of the sweetness also comes from that. 
I do taste the French mustard in there. Dude, honestly, that, that caught me off guard. Mustard. I was like, mm -hmm. really? Like, I see the I see the balsamic, right? I see the oil. And obviously, there's salt and pepper in it. Obviously. You, you'd, you'd be surprised how well mustard, but mustard goes well right? with things. And this is this is a prime example. That's a pleasant surprise, for mm -hmm. sure. Definitely, definitely a pleasant surprise. There's nutmeg in this. Is there nutmeg? There's nutmeg in this. Really? I taste it. Hmm. Try it again. Because I didn't, I didn't have any nutmeg That's up so there. That's so interesting. You know what something's worth talking about as well? Hmm. Value. Yeah. You're having a homemade dish that was prepared for you, crafted for you in the back. From scratch. For the price, and I would say this because I've been to McDonald's plenty of times, I know what I get, around the same price. And yeah. we got this huge, this sandwich that's just so good. We got a salad, we got dessert, and we got coffee. Oh, grab this piece right here. Okay. Nice little skinny piece. Okay. Grab this one right here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Some cinnamon deep down there. Of course, of course. That crust has just clearly absorbed a lot of that sugar and whatnot that mm. she used to, to caramelize these apples with, so it just holds on to a lot of that flavor. This is a really good Danish. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Whoa. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, no, no, no. So I've never had a macaron before. Okay. That was my first macaron I'm ever. happy because I've only ever had one, and I don't yeah. remember when. So I think you and I are having a similar experience. That was insane. What? Can you even beat this? This is, dude, that was, it was light, powdery, slightly sweet. Had kind of a, almost like a sesame well, kind of like, wait, were those like sesame seeds on top? What? The, I don't know what that was in the middle, like a cream or a ganache yeah, or something. Yeah, that was the cream of, cream of white chocolate. Oh my god. That was probably a filling of some sort with white Dude, chocolate. I never, I never would have put sesame on a pastry, but that was incredible. Good. Nah, this is what I was afraid of. I want I want like five more. <laughs> I want a couple more now, actually. That yeah, was really I, good. I can dog like five more myself. Oh, oh my god, that was so good. Wow. That was so good. Okay. The For experience sure. has been everything that we expected. Yeah. I'm so happy to say that it was just as good as the first time we came. And it'll be just as good as the third time, the fourth time, the, fourth, the fifth time will come. So that was phenomenal. All in all, great experience. All in all. I love coming here, honestly. So, so how you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling good. Feeling, feeling good. Right? All that, man, that food is insane. Yeah, I feel as good as I thought I was going to, which is how good that food was. Mm -hmm. It was, man, I'm full. I'm full, but I'm a good full. I'm, I'm really, really happy that we got to come back here, honestly, and have another chat with Aurelie. She's, she's just honestly such an incredible person. Yeah. Um, that wraps it up for the gourmet break guys. Um, we really, really hope you enjoy that. Make sure you stay tuned. Um, they had incredible coffee here and we are going to be going to check out, um, her supplier just to kind of get a little bit more in depth into the process of how they make such amazing, amazing coffee. Um, other than that, just um, like and subscribe guys. We are going to be out there. Stay tuned for that coffee video because that's coming soon. It's coming really soon. So until next time guys, keep in touch. Take it easy, man. All right, bro.